Hello ladies and gentlemen and in today's episode we are going to talk about Chandler vs Conor McGregor. What we are going to talk about is my thoughts on the fight, how if everything is as I wanted, how the fight will go in my opinion. So as I have a tendency to prolong my videos and anyway, talk way too much on unnecessary stuff, we will have a 5 minute mark and what, when that minute when that mark hits, we're going to start wrapping up the video, so let's get started. So, Conor McGregor works on Michael Chandler. <sighs> Backstory, they had a little bit of beef in the Ultimate Fighter. What's that called? Forgot the name, but whatever. They had a beef and Conor had problems with the date when they're going to fight, but now the date is set to June something and it's set to June 29th. I can't wait, sorry about that forgot the day they were fighting and what I wanted to talk is people seem to see Connor and his partying and he's still that weird guy that he, he seems like a rave guy that likes to party and jump all around and and likes to drink and go around girls and something like that and he's like cocky nutty at moments really and it's hard to see for hardcore Connor fans because he he was that guy that got the money, got the knockouts, got everything. But if but I think Connor is playing a little bit not hide and seek, but he's playing possum in this game. If you want to go the rabbit hole, you can go and see that first he doesn't have a drink in his recent video, this one. And secondly, Connor is not stupid. He's not going to come back and talk all this stuff and just go out there and be knocked out just because he didn't train and he didn't care he's going there to fight if he gets knocked out it's because just because Chandler was better like uh, Dustin knocked him out and just Dust Dustin in that moment was better but Connor is not going to lose because he didn't train or whatever he has the best coach he has all the money and everything to train and he will do it what I think in the fight will happen is as it goes so if Conor gets back, not to his uh, more traditional boxing stance where his hands up, throwing a little bit sloppy punches, under pressure all the time, following his opponent and searching for that punch, probably Chandler will out pressure him, will have easier to get on the takedown and something like that because Conor is moving forward. So when he moves forward, Chandler just takes goes for the takedown. Oh, he's got his hands but if Connor plays his last style and I th I don't think Connor is out of his prime or he's uh, finished and can't find anyone. No. Connor is actually in bed in one of his best physical conditions right now and I think it, the fight that he lost was just game plan problems. If he has the game plan of counter countering or oh, his sao power, but if he waits, waits when it comes uppercut, left hand, knee, whatever it might be, if he plays that style that he knocked Jose Aldo, that he beats all of the others like counter the counter moving backwards and waiting from the that beat Eddie Alvarez and all of them. If you plays like that, I think Chandler doesn't stand a chance, in my opinion. Con People seem to forget how good Connor is, just because of the recent controversy around him and him not training and, and him having businesses and drinking and all that stuff. But Connor can actually fight and he's a very good fighter. Yeah, Chandler also has, but Connor has way more experience, in my opinion, has fought better guys. The only problem is if Connor plays this style, he will have to find the finish quickly and finish and knock out or TKO Chandler fast because he'll gas out and if Chandler gets the opportunity to have a few takedowns to get all the air out of Connor, to gas him out and to stiffen his muscles then it will be a problem because I think Chandler has more stamina in him because he's a wrestler. Wrestlers usually have more stamina on the ground, especially, and they're just built in a 
different way, built different. Yeah, but Connor has that sweet hand, sweet backhand knockout punch, and if he if he has has it in the back of his mind, it's like riding a bicycle. Okay, we have to wrap this up. So I think Connor will win this fight if he plays, if he fights like his old style of countering, looking for that opportunity, moving, dodging punches, sweeping, and all this put kick pressuring, low, low kicks, middle kicks, high kicks, uh, front kicks to the stomach. If he plays like that, touching like, sting like a bee, move like a butterfly, sting like a bee, if he plays, if he fights that way, I think Chandler doesn't have anything to go in that. And he has, wrestled, he has wrestled a lot recently, I have seen a lot of videos, so probably his wrestling will be a lot better, probably he will defend takedowns a lot better. And that's it. I don't know much about Chandler as a fighter. I've seen him against Justin Gagey and I've seen him against uh, Poirier and Conor McGregor has knocked out Poirier and I think Conor McGregor can beat Poirier and I think he can beat Michael Chandler. I'm just, maybe I'm just a Conor fan, whatever it might be, but if Conor is in his head right, at the moment, at the fight, and has this style, I think he beats Chandler. But props to both guys, I I don't have... I can't wait for the fight, we'll see what happens, if Connor is washed up or not, we'll see. So, thank you for watching, see you next time.